Good morning! We're super excited to show you that our kitchen is finally complete. So, Zach plumbed us, we have running water, and this guy has another setting and can also go out the window for an outdoor shower. Like so. Whoops. Our friend Kenny made this lovely countertop you see here. And he did this cool herringbone pattern. We have this recess here and we filled it with tile so we have a place to put like a hot skillet or something without damaging the wood. Kenny also made us this cool box back here behind the sink with magnets for our knives. And it's a pretty deep box so we could put some other things in there too if we wanted to. Uh, if you'll back up for me. Over here behind the hearth we have some storage which could be another pantry or something. We don't know what's going to go in there yet. We screwed up some mason jars for some dry storage here. You've seen these probably before but uh, these will probably also hold some dry food and other things. Maybe some plates or coffee. <laughs> we hung these baskets on the wall to, for fruit and yes I did go bring fruit from the house just for this because I wanted to see what it looked like. Uh, Kenny made this beautiful cutting board for us and it's got routed handles in the bottom and juice grooves. We have these guys that are pretty cool from Planetary Design that separate the air from the contents with this little contraption here. We decided to go with an Origo alcohol marine stove so that we can just move it around. We can cook with this outside and it fills with denatured alcohol which is non-pressurized so it's a little safer and we liked that option. Under here we have our Dometic fridge that slides out and opens from the top like that. We have a small pantry over on this side. Some nice deep drawers. And down here we have two trash cans for trash and recycling. Finally, uh, we do have running water, but we're not plumbed to gray yet, so for now we have a bucket draining underneath the sink. And that's it. I'm super excited about it. I think it's adorable, and I literally can't wait to cook in here, so we're about to make breakfast in the bus. Well guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but we're getting pretty excited. That's why we really wanted to have breakfast in here. Um, we've been spending a lot of time in here just hanging out. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm sitting on something new and that's the bed. We finally have a bed in here. So we've been hanging out in here in the evenings when it's cool and playing board games and stuff and just kind of looking out the window and imagining that I don't know, that's the Grand Tetons, or Horseshoe Bend, or the Grand Canyon, or who knows what. I'm so excited. And it's, it's getting seriously close. So we're trying to have the bus done by August 15th. We have a campsite reserved um, that was going to be our official move-in date. But things have changed a little bit. So we are going to have the bus done by August 15th, though. And you guys should try to hold us to that. We're going to do our best. And we're going to spend our first official night, two nights in the bus with the dogs and everything as a good test run. Um, but our hit the road date is officially moved back because of a, a photo conference that Zach's going to. But 
just as well. Um, I'm just so excited to have it finished. We do have a couple new patrons to thank. I want to thank Beverly Lookadoo and T.R. Bolin. Uh, your stickers are headed your way, guys. Uh, thanks for watching again. Until next time, bye!